Hi guys, watching Harjit China. It's just going to show you another way of training shoulders that I do. It makes it a lot safer on your shoulder joints. And if you're also new, that you have to train three different shoulder heads if you want to bring an overall round shoulder. As when we talk about bolder shoulders and focusing overall development there, it's not only just always the front area that you're going to need to work. So if you're doing too many shoulder presses, front raises, military trap presses, you're always focusing on the anterior delt, whether you're doing bench press and push-ups, again, always anterior delt. Um, so that's where most focus goes, and that can bring your shoulders to drop a little bit forward, causing a lot of tightening into the front shoulder head. You forget to work the actual medial head as well as the rear delt, so you need to work those other two heads to actually get that better posture and overall rounded shoulder. So you need to bring back those shoulders, and that also emphasizes of bringing your chest out a bit more forward. So it's not just about doing the bench press. You have to build balance to the body. So you have to work the posterior chain as well as the anterior chain when you're doing these exercises. So I'm going to do something I do, which is a smart way of working shoulders and hitting all three of those heads. It literally annihilates your shoulders and you're going to really feel the burn with this exercise. So I'm going to be doing it with dumbbells. So I'm going with light dumbbells. So you're not going to have to even lift heavy. And I'm going to just focus on doing the rear delt first because it's the hardest muscle to work, the hardest one to lift the most amount of weight. So that's the weight that will stay with all the way through because it just makes every single exercise as you go into it a lot harder. So let's go with the rear delt flies. So I'm going to do this in a bent over position. So just leaning over, getting into like a bent over row position. So just coming up to your knees here. You want to push those shoulders a bit back, keeping that chest out forward and just bring them out to the side. You don't have to swing these really fast out to the side, it's just more control. You just need to get that contraction into the rear delt. So small movements, it doesn't have to go up really high. So you're trying to max out roughly between 12 to 15 repetitions as you're just trying to hit a very small muscle. It needs to be a bit more concentrated rather than just doing low reps and heavy weights. It doesn't really work great for this muscle at all. So go with the high reps and use a weight that will fatigue you at that very last rep. And once you've managed those reps, just coming back up and we're going into a lateral race. So now you're gonna hit the medial delt, staying with the same weight. You're really gonna feel your shoulders a little bit on fire. So for that reason, you're just gonna go straight with the same weight. And I'm gonna go with those lateral raises. I prefer this version, having a slight 90 degrees bend in the elbow. It doesn't cause extra pressure onto the joint than having your arms out completely straight and locked out. So automatically, the reps will reduce because from the first exercise, already burning. So you're really gonna feel this exercise on your shoulders and a great way to work all three heads. So I've worked the rear deal, medial head, and for the front, just gonna go with front raises. You can also go with a shoulder press if you feel comfortable and depending on how much you've literally torched your shoulders right now. So I'm gonna go with the front raise, just come with both. And never really locking out the arms. You don't wanna to put too much pressure on the joints. So I'm gonna have a slight bend in the elbows when I'm coming up. And you can see I'm pausing when it comes to the hips because I don't want to swing. I don't wanna bring up and then just swing back and then bring up. That's just putting momentum into the movement. You need to make sure the anterior delt is lifting the weight up and then down. And again, not going to be able to do many of these. Shoulders are already on fire. So you manage as many as you can. And literally, that's a great overall shoulder pump right there. Feel every single one of those three heads burning, working. You need to take a minute or two out and then go and do the same thing again. And you can obviously incorporate different exercises within a shoulder-based routine. But don't forget to work the rear delt, anterior delt, as well as the medial delt and trying to get even balance and don't focus too much on upright rows, front presses, um, military presses, too many exercises on those because all you're ever going to do is hit the front delt and bring that anterior chain forward. So you want to make sure, bring the balance, get the back to contract and get those rear delts to pull your body back again and you'll have a great posture, a lot safer, avoid injuries and it's just the best way to get overall better shape for your shoulders.